Hello Playmates, I am Tufty Indigo. This is Spy Party and you are about to watch the AI doing me a bamboozle with this little gadget. Uh, the moral of today's story, I'm just going to spoiler the moral for you. The moral is going to be, do not shoot for briefcase. It doesn't matter how bad it is. So if you look at Rocker now, Rocker's just stopped off a pad for no apparent reason and goes to pick up the briefcase. And yeah, I, I highlight for that because that, that initial stop was bad. I think what happened was she was just about to get to conversation and somebody somebody took her spot at conversation and instead of bouncing off to go somewhere else, um, she uh, she went and picked up the briefcase immediately, which led to that second or two of pause. Um, but she does a good return there. But the ambassador is uh, is very forgetful today and he puts his briefcase down again. And so, uh, yeah, the briefcase stays there for a bit. While this is all going on, the uh, the Poloin has is well, it's just about to happen. And uh, the spy comes in for the briefcase, but gets beaten to it by Alice there. So that actually, the the spy didn't do a very good job there. Um, and we've just kind of missed the important bit. So if we go back to the outside and we go back a few seconds there, this is a really crucial bit of AI behavior here. So we see the AI is coming and the ambassador's walking, but it's only when the ambassador gets past the doorway and the AI can see that the ambassador is walking that Alice stops the, and then decides to put the briefcase down instead of returning it and walks off. So uh, as you can hear the beeps now, it's, uh, it's getting quite late and Boots goes in for the hard fingerprints, but she has a drink. So uh, she takes a drink there, and then she walks the opposite direction to the direction the ambassador is, and then puts the briefcase down and walks away, and she gets shot for it. That's that's me lining up the shot there. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm just trying to avoid a shot on general, but it's uh, so this leads to a wrong shot. So we've had two bits of of really. Uh, quite dodgy briefcase behavior there. Rocker standing off a pad and then going for briefcase and then uh, Boots. Um, let's just uh, watch Boots again because that was that is really exciting. So yeah, she's over here on the right. She's just taken a drink and uh, the briefcase is in the middle of the doorway in pub. So it's reasonable for her to go from there to the briefcase. She's fairly close to it. She picks it up. Ambassador's walking around so she's not going to chase after him immediately, but she takes a drink and then she goes the opposite direction, puts it down and then takes another drink, but then interrupts her sip. And I think it was the interrupting the sip on the way out there that uh, that made me want to shoot. I think the first sip was was reasonable because I uh, I understood that, uh, you know, the, the, um, the AI will sometimes take drink sips in the middle of doing briefcase returns, but it was that extra one at the end. It just seemed like a misclick and then cutting the animation to walk off. But it's all perfectly AI-like behavior as we've seen. Um, so let's just go back and watch it one more time and uh, see if we can explain what's going on. So uh, we're here, we've got the briefcase. The, the ambassador is well outside of briefcase range. We come in for it. So here we pick it up. Now, right now the ambassador's walking and the ambassador's within our kind of vision radius. So the um, the AI has like a vision, vision radius for seeing the ambassador, um, which can be obstructed. So we saw before um, with Alice, she couldn't see that the ambassador was moving because he was on the other side of the doorway. Um, but it's 360 degrees. So the fact that the ambassador's behind Boots here doesn't stop Boots knowing that the ambassador is walking. So uh, Boots isn't gonna chase. So we just, uh, we're just standing there waiting. Now the AI can just always do drink sips when it's idling. So that's why we get a, a slightly unusual drink sip here, but it's, it's perfectly fine. Now, where Ambassador's walking along the bar there, in fact, I think we might need to go back another second there. So where Ambassador's walking along the bar here, when he gets to about there, he's at the point where we can't return the briefcase to him because there's somebody standing behind him at the point where we'd like to return the briefcase. And if we just go back a few frames, you can see that when this happens, so that's the point where we decide, no, I'm not going to return the briefcase here. 
I, I can't I can't give it back to him. And we'd like to put the briefcase down, but we can't put it down where we're standing because now Alice is standing right next to us where the briefcase should go down. She's she's blocking the spot. So um what the AI will do if it can't put the briefcase, if it wants to put the briefcase down immediately, but it can't put it down where it stands because it would be obstructed by a, another another cast member, an, another party guest, um, or, or perhaps by a static object, like if we were standing next to a wall. Um, they'll just take a couple of steps in a random direction before putting it down. So that's what happens. And what happens here is it just happens to be the direction away from the ambassador. So we take a couple of steps. Uh, now we're unobstructed, we put it down. And now that we've put it down, we have the, the AI goes through the what shall I do next decision that it makes every time it finishes what it's doing. And um, a sip is one of the things it can do. And I really don't know why it cut the sit there when leaving. Um, yeah. So yeah, the AI, the, the well, the briefcase causes a lot of strange behaviors for the AI. And some of them do look very, very spy-like. So, like, so this one, you know, I thought that that drink sip cut at the end couldn't possibly be spy. Couldn't possibly be the AI. Like, that's definitely the spy there. Even though Boots didn't have any suspicion on her before that, uh, and that was a bad decision from me. And yeah, the moral of this story is: if you see some dodgy behavior going on around the briefcase, like animation cuts or even things like this where you, they're taking the briefcase in the wrong direction, you can't shoot for it. You can be suspicious of it because, uh, especially at low levels, that kind of behavior is probably just the, the spy not knowing briefcase etiquette because briefcase etiquette is hugely complicated. But then if you're playing at that level, then probably you as the sniper don't know the briefcase etiquette that well either, as I didn't here. So... Um, you, you just can't shoot for it. You're, you're risking wrong shots like that. But you can be suspicious because it probably is the spy doing something wrong. And so, uh, yeah, that can that can bring off a shot later in the game. In this case, um, I didn't really have time to be suspicious. You can see it's the last 10 seconds of the game. And um, you can see that uh, RCX dude here, who is the spy as Tex, um, is just about to finish. He already has one fingerprint. Um, and he's, there is a hard one on this now that uh, Boots has touched it. So he could have finished here just in time. And I'd seen that the um, that the Poloin had happened. Though because of the way it was delegated, I wasn't entirely sure who it was. So really, I don't have a, another, another chance here. I was right to take some shots. I just took the wrong shot. So yeah, do not shoot for briefcase. Um, because the, the, the AI will do you a bamboozle sometimes and you will be left embarrassed and with a spy who has no idea why you made the wrong shots. So yeah, that was just a short video of uh, a quick example of, of why not to shoot for briefcase. And uh, I'm going to leave you there to enjoy your spy party. So I hope to see you again soon. And don't forget to subscribe if you want uh, more videos like this. Uh, you can get Spy Party, if you don't already have it, from spyparty.com. Um, I've been Tufty Indigo. Goodbye.